Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Heen Pital, where I do not remember exactly what it is we are doing. I might not ever have known, but we are going to continue doing it with gusto. Um, <laughs> I try not to spend too much time talking about like my weird health issues and stuff on the channel because you know, people are here for the gameplay, right? Um, but I'm very torn. I'm like, I'm very back and forth on like whether it is responsible to like explain why sometimes there are delays in the content. Sometimes I am acting the way I am uh, versus like what is just like what is boring stuff nobody wants to hear. Um, but I do want to say like the combination of the sort of like fever dream quality of a lot of the writing in this game uh, and the fact that I have been thanks to various brain issues uh been pretty much just like exhausted for three solid weeks at this point um it's made a it's made playing this game a very strange experience uh with with that let's just let's get let's do the thing let's get back in here and do the thing we're gonna save this body i think probably and we're gonna we're gonna save it by going oh, i want to push you all the way out to the edge so that i can go like this so the the black dots don't impede our movement at all we can just sail right through them is there any reason i wouldn't it feels like the black dots aren't really doing anything for us here right because this is what we want to do i guess we have a couple of opportunities here to um to communicate with some people we probably ought to this area seems to be under control at least Whew, what would we do without the macrophages that's a little concerning. I don't, I don't want to get phaged. When a monocyte grows up, it becomes a macrophage. These bacteria are nothing to a macrophage. Okay, all right, okay. That was not a tremendous amount of information. The little dude down there's gotta be accessible, right? This is a passage? Yeah. Give us this day our daily glucose and punish us for our sins as we punish those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Why is there... Who brought religion to the internal cells? Who would do such a thing? Well, this one seems pretty tired. It won't move. Meanwhile, the heretics plague the temple. Hey, maybe you could high five them and wake them up. High five the... Okay. How am I going to do that? I guess the answer is this. I see. Okay. So... There's no way I would be able to... maneuver that that l-shaped one down there in a way where i'd actually be able to get below it right because there's certainly the suggestion that that is a um, an accessible tunnel okay same deal as the uh as the high fives from the other guys you cannot do it while you are right next to them okay i mean interesting i don't really know what to make of uh to make of these fellows but so i could push you over to over to the right here, but like, what is the value of that? I don't know. Also, how, like, what is the way that you would access? What is the way that you would access this opening up here? You would want to come at this guy from the other side. How would I do that? I guess so we know that the uh, we know these things will just sail right through the black dots, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to be using the black dots to create any kind of like interesting situation with the L shaped thing down here. There's really nothing to do other than this, I think. 
from this position, hmm. Can these things be backed up? Like if I press against that, no, I cannot move it in that way. Well then, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I do not see how we would access that other exit. I am going to give up on it. This is the entrance to the temple. The bacteria situation is getting out of hand. Well, I guess that's my line. Let's see what's up. Like, how out of hand are we talking about here? Can't be that out of hand, because most people seem content to just sit back and watch it occur. I do kind of want to come down here and talk to him. That idiot! We were stupid to let him back in. Yes, killer. You're of much value to us. We did hear about all the trouble you went through. I knew that moron would cause trouble. The antibodies are nowhere to be found. Ah, the evil beings cannot be stopped. I'm not super jazzed about all this evil being stuff. The temple of cytogenesis is right this way. The road is blocked by bacteria. You could take the shortcut, but looks like the rascal took the keys with him. We never should have let him take care of the keys. For a killer like you, this area could be quite perilous, but go help out those macrophages, okay? I wish you luck. High five. <laughs> okay, so this is one of one of those glass panes. Oh, wait. Ah. Just like pressing buttons at random over here. I don't see any reason we would want to try to interact with anything else else around here. Hello? Oh, oh good. I was worried one of those fanatics would answer. I'm trapped way deep inside the temple. Someone stole the key. But once you get inside the temple, I'll help you get around. Call me if you feel lost. Please, please come save me. Alright, this is another thing where I'm not really sure why these dots are here. Because, like, obviously... You're pushing that the whole distance. Okay. This doesn't exactly seem like rocket science. We do this so that we end up there and easy enough. They're just like, no, for real. Do you understand how these things move? It's, it's going to be critically important in a second here. All right. So my assumption is that the, the exits on these puzzles are just not going to open unless you actually manage to consume all the blocks. That's kind of neat, I guess. So if we do the obvious thing... How do I want to approach playing a little bit more Tetris from here? It's easy enough to get this L to go down, right? We just swap, swap. Okay, we don't necessarily have to press the others in, but I do need to somehow reach that exit. I don't know if that's even helpful. Yeah, okay, it is. I see, because that makes it very easy to do this thing. I'm starting to think that this game here might have uh, might have a reference or two in it. Um, it's not clear to me what exactly is going to make this open. Like, obviously they want me to 
Uh, to move this power cell thing. Mm, what is this safe way to do that? What am I doing? So if I push this all the way in, myself back out, it's easy enough to go like this, right? Ah, there's the, there's the thing. There are a couple of hidden dots. Uh, and there may yet be, apparently. Well, from here it's easy enough to get that into that position, and then... This will let us eventually pull ourselves around to the bottom of this thing. Okay, I mean that seemed pretty straightforward. Feels like we're still maybe in the tutorial zone a little bit for this mechanic. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. How are we going to, I mean, obviously we have to do this. That's, that's the start without question. How are we gonna do the rest of this? Here's a, here's a question. Is there, yes, there is an activation button on the wall there or on that, that side of the thing. So it feels to me like putting those together is pretty good, right? Because it allows us to slide this into here and then, yeah. Again, feeling a little bit like tutorial land here. I do love it when a video game makes a Cypress Hill reference. Um, I wonder if Cypress Hill is popular in South Korea. This one's a little bit more interesting. Obviously, it would be a real pain to maneuver the, um, maneuver the one cell around down in that lower left corner. That's something we're going to want to do with the plus, which we must put here. Now I have to get you out of the way. I guess we just pull it up here, right? And then shove this over to there. Here we might find ourselves beginning to have an issue. Maybe this isn't the right approach. Oh wait, if I do this, I'm just I'm just trapped. Hold on. Don't don't do that. What I'm thinking is Now that we've got this over here. Let's take let's take a second here. Let's just pause and figure this out. I went to adjust the position of the single cell cuz obviously it's going to be uh, blocking our access to the button that pushes the cross downward. but it doesn't seem very easy to manipulate um, without getting myself trapped up there. We could go down from here. To do what? What would we, why would, what would how would that help? <laughs> I'm actually not seeing a lot of utility in that move, right? If we go down from here, the only things we can do are then go right and up and loop around to a position where we can affect that cell from the top, which I don't think is a useful thing to do. Actually, I suppose there's a question that's worth asking mechanically. Okay. No, I cannot punch the button with another cell. I wouldn't have thought so, but definitely a thing worth knowing. How are we going to access that down button? It really does feel like that top cell just has to get moved, right? But how and where? Okay. 
because if we get rid of that thing, if we're able to push it left or right, it becomes trivially easy to hit the down button on the cross. And I'm fairly sure there's nothing else we would want to do in this situation. Obviously, pushing it uh, left doesn't happen. Pushing it right just makes us, just puts us backwards in the puzzle. Pushing it up doesn't really accomplish anything. The position we'd have to get into to push it down is the same as the position we have to get into to push it down now, so. So we can do this. Why? Why is that useful? It doesn't seem like it is, <laughs> right? But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else to do with that damn thing. It is certainly in the way. And if we get into the horizontal line with it, then we're just trapped forever at the, uh, at the entrance to the room. I can't even grab down to pull myself down there because the cell will just come off the cross. I don't know how much it would have helped to be in that position anyway. Yeah, it really feels like this thing needs to move left or right. Is it possible for me to pull it to the right out of the way after we press it downward? I don't think so. No, definitely not. Most of what I'm thinking here is just that, like, it's particularly difficult to, man uh, to manipulate the cell in the row it's currently in. It would be a lot easier if we could get it to anywhere else. But really, the only place we can leave it is here, which is not, that does not feel productive. I mean, let me back us up a little bit here. We could go dump this out of the way now. Sadly, I don't think this solves anything. The issue we were having before was with, that it was blocking access to the down button. Unfortunately, that's still true. Oh, no, no, hold on. We can get to it without going through the bottom of the room by doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, although I guess after I do this, it's going to be access. To, it's going to be blocking access to the button that moves, uh, that moves things to the left. So do I want to go like, grab it and pull it all the way out of the way here? No, it's still blocking that access. This is definitely no good. Uh. What do I do with you? How do I make this work? We can't leave this thing in the bottom row at all. All right, let me back it up a couple of steps. Like right after I put it down here, Put it down like that. I'm trying to figure out, is this a moment where I can, um, I can move it to some other position that's gonna make a little bit more sense for it? I think the answer is no. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I can do the thing I'm talking about here from the start that we have so far. This lets me pull it over to here, which obviously is still disruptive, but. I mean, I'm not going to be able to pull it out of there after after bringing the cross down, unfortunately. Yeah, there's just no way to interact with it anymore once you've done that. This feels like probably a dead end in terms of pathing this out. I'm wondering if there's a way to jam it up into one of the cross's corners, then pull it out. Like if we could get below it and move it over to the right or move it upward once. And then from there over to the right, we could get it properly out of the way. Unfortunately, I'm fairly certain there's no way to push it from below. What if the cross had been pushed upward? We'd certainly have more, uh, more room to play with stuff down here, but ultimately I don't know that it would do very much. All right, let me, let me Put this back in its default state and see if I'm missing anything really obvious. All right, first move is this. We do not have a choice on that. All right, from here, we can definitely only go upward. But if we do this, we just like get this thing all the way out of the way. Nope, that's not a new plan. That's. That's a very familiar plan. <laughs> okay, what if... We store the thing down here. I mean, this just, this ends up in another familiar position. This room is very frustratingly designed. It's almost like they were trying to make some kind of puzzle out of it or something. All right, mandatory move number one, mandatory move number two. Those are the only things you can do at the beginning of the puzzle. Then what? A move to the left is about readjusting the position of the cell. into a spot that's like pretty difficult to actually do anything with. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate place for it to stop the one one tile above the top row in row with the entrance because it makes it extremely difficult to manipulate. If we just go right and we push the cross downward. I'm wondering if maybe I was too quick to dismiss the idea of removing the dots in the lower left with the single cell. Doesn't seem totally impossible, right? I don't know, that's pretty impossible though, I think. Let me, okay. Sorry, I definitely wanna pull you up first so that you get those ones. We move you down, not as a way of covering that stuff, but as like a, a shape to put in place to allow me to move more freely in the open. And then like, it 
it does not feel to me yeah it does not feel to me like there's a great way to do this if i can get into that corner directly above pull them up into the main row i mean that's not going to accomplish anything it's a little embarrassing to get stuck so quickly all right i'm we would either have to be able to maneuver that cell into four additional positions from here one of them requiring me to access that that space two tiles above where the cell is now with that with that scary bit of darkness floating in it i think that there's no way to maneuver the cell into that spot or to maneuver well okay to maneuver myself into that spot which is the thing that i would have to do in order to get the cell into the middle row so that it could clear out the three middle row things no i think I think it is the it is the the cross. The cross has to get where it's going. We just have to figure out a way of allowing for that. Yeah, can't push it any other way. Can't push it before it slides down. Cause it will get caught on things. There's just barely enough room in here. Boy, it locks us into this U shape too when we move it down there. That is, that is not ideal. No, just go. You have my permission. Just push it. <sighs> okay. So I guess we can move the cell aside before moving the cross or we can move the cross before moving the cell. And in either case, we end up in exactly the same spot. Uh, at this point, a pretty well-tread spot. Now I can't use these dark dots to stop this in a in an advantageous position right because at some point it's like I can't let go of it until it gets up here and this just does not feel like a very useful place for it to be What if I, is it possible for me to reach the top? It is, it totally is. I can get back to the top of the puzzle. Here we go, that was, that was the answer. I needed to get the cell out of the way by pushing it over there. And that's, I think the only point in the puzzle where you can do that. If you, if you make any further moves, you lock yourself into some less useful stuff. Oh, uh, this seems very straightforward. Yeah, and here's the point where I wish I had moved, maybe moved that cell in a different way. <laughs> Alright, what could I do with it that would be more useful? We could just shove it all the way over to the side here, right? Oh, right. How are you going to get it down? That's a valid question to ask in this situation. We need at least two tiles above it, two tiles worth of coverage. So I guess the idea is 
that cell is supposed to, you know, be the top of the, uh, the top of the ride. Which we can set up like... Right, then it's just annoying. It's not really like ruining our day or anything. We can still get to the button like this. Ah, but I need to stage that other cell as well. We do not, in fact, want it to be right here. Right, if we put this right here, that locks everything up in a nice little... Actually, I think we want to come at this through here. Yeah. Locks everything up in a nice neat package, so we can do that, and then this. Alright. Made a couple more rooms, at least. It's hard to be too upset about that. Okay, and we have a couple of shapes here. All right, there's no way to move this back down now. I guess you would want it to go all the way up, right? Because we got to get those... I was thinking we swap the location of the power source and then use our newfound operating position on the top of the room to just push this L shape down to grab the rest of that stuff. But that does leave me in a bit of a tricky position, which is to say the, uh, the dot that is in the crook of the L at this point uh, is not, not going to be easy to access that way. And we can't, yeah. This is not a productive place for me to go. I was thinking about like switching the battery, but it's much better to come at it like this. So. I was gonna say, wait, doesn't that do it? But right, I'm standing in a field of uh, of weird space. So in the end, we're gonna have to push our power cell all the way up to the top right corner in order to unlock the guy, or unlock the uh, the exit there. And in the meantime, burn all of these black cells, or these, these cells with the black goop floating in them, and also be like very... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take some time to, compl to, to cogitate here on this one. I am not 100% sure how to approach the solve here. It seems like we're definitely pulling the reactor, the, the power core thing upward when we're at the top of the cell to get it to settle into the right row with the exit, uh, the exit coil, the exit vine, whatever. But there's a lot more to this puzzle than that, and we're totally going to figure it out next time. I am not going to sit here and describe to you <laughs> my logic entirely verbally while you stare at these credits. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching and for putting up with the rate of content lately. I'm trying, but y'all can probably hear some difficulties <laughs> this last couple of weeks. Um, it happens. I'm sure it'll be back to normal soon. It usually is. Um, so yeah, 
Come back next time for definitely the solution to this puzzle when I will definitely, definitely have a solution to this puzzle. And we'll see you then. <laughs>